Hello boys and girls and welcome back to Kid Med Cinema. I can't believe it's our last day together. I've had so much fun getting to know you and seeing the videos of our new friends in Kid Med Cinema each week. Now are you ready to meet one more friend and watch our last Kid Vid Cinema video? I can't wait to see who we'll meet today. Hi, I'm Renee and I'm 10 years old. Hi, I'm Alina and I'm 11 years old. Renee and Alina are great friends and they live in the beautiful desert of Southern Arizona. They love to hang out and be silly together. Their friendship has grown after they both joined an arts ministry at their church. Um, Ensos Manos is a creative art ministry. We do puppets, we do shows, and we do skits and stuff like that. Ensos Manos is Spanish for In His Hands. It's an art ministry that uses performance to share the love of God. There is dancing, acting, and music. My favorite thing about performing is probably looking, like, um, at the end looking at, like, all the kids all smiling and laughing and liking it. Sometimes performances are serious and sometimes they're fun and silly. Regardless of being silly or not, one thing is true. Being a part of Ensus Manos has brought the entire team closer together. This puppet ministry helped us become better friends. And it's not just like me and her like other people a lot more basically the whole group our group like before like we were all friends like we were chill but now we're like we're like really really good friends and like we're always hanging out we're always like laughing making jokes Jesus has used the ministry to bring the team together this team of friends help each other to do the best they can to share God's love my friends like they help me not be nervous because like they were doing, they were doing it too, and they were nervous. But at the same time, they they supported us. I was with my friends, and I knew a lot of people in, from church. So was it that that scary anymore? Serving Jesus together has helped Alina and Renee become great friends. But they both know who the best friend is: Jesus. He he's like one of our like bestest friends ever. He is. <laughs> yeah. Renee and Alina know that Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Jesus helps me make friends. Um, like God knows that I'm doing like this whole ministry for Him. And so it just helped me like become better friends with people. So He helped me like be friends with a lot of people, but still like worship Him and praise Him. In the Bible, in the book of John, chapter 15, verse 12, it says, Love each other in the same way I have loved you. Jesus loved us all equally, so we should love everybody because as he says in the Bible, we're all brothers and sisters and love your enemies. Jesus' power helps us be good friends. that Renee and Alina like to do together. What's your favorite thing to do with your friends? In your life, what do you look for in a good friend? For me, I like someone who's going to listen. What about you? Talk to your brothers or sisters or mom and dad about what qualities you think a good friend has. Something I found out in my life is that friendships don't always work out as well as the relationship that Renee and Alina have. Sometimes you think someone is a friend, but then something changes their mind. Maybe the person you thought was a friend talked behind your back or made fun of you. Or maybe you hurt a friend's feelings and the friendship ended. When is a time when a friendship didn't work out in your life? 
friendships are special and important in our lives. But that doesn't mean friendships are always easy. That's why I'm so grateful that Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus. You know, the Bible has some great advice about friendship. Let's see what the Bible says. Today's verse comes from John chapter 15, verse 12. If you remember, today's a memory Bible buddy can help you remember that verse at home later. Let's see what the Bible says. Love each other in the same way that I have loved you. All week at Rocky Railroad, we've been learning about Jesus' power. And today we're discovering that Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus. I love that in this Bible verse, Jesus gives us advice about exactly how to be good friends. Jesus tells us to love each other in the same way that he has loved us. Let's think back to what we learned this week and see if we can discover about loving each other like Jesus loves us. In the first week of Kid Did Cinema, we met Dominic. Dominic loves karate, even though it's hard sometimes. Watching Dominic, we learned that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. Helping us do hard things is one way Jesus shows us he loves us. So I guess that means we could be a good friend by someone by helping someone do something hard. What's a hard thing you could help a friend do? Maybe your friend is upset because his parents are getting a divorce. You could be a good listener and encourage your friend to trust Jesus. What are some other hard things you could help a friend with? After Dominic, we meant Annalise, who used her music to give her sick grandmother hope. From Annalise, we learned that Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus. Jesus shows his love for us by giving us the theological gift of hope. If we want to love the others like Jesus loves us, we could give someone hope. How could you give a friend hope? What could you do? Maybe you could make a card for a friend who's sick, telling that friend that you're praying for him or her. What are some other ways you could give a friend hope? After Annalise, we met Lauren, who volunteers at her local community food center. She helped us remember that Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. Jesus shows his love for us by helping us be bold. How could you help a friend to be bold? In our video today, we heard how Renee and Alina helped each other not be nervous at a performance. So that's one way to help a friend be bold. What are some other ways that you can think of? Last week, we met Isaac, who trusts that he'll see his brother Joel in heaven again someday. Isaac's story can help us remember that Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus. Everyone needs to know about Jesus and his incredible love for us. Telling a friend about Jesus is maybe the best bold thing you could ever do for that person. Who could you tell about Jesus this week, and what could you say? Think about that and talk it over right now with your siblings or mom and dad. I bet you're coming up with some really creative ideas on how to be a good friend. Jesus is the best friend of all time. If we listen to him and follow his example, we can be good friends to others. Let's talk to Jesus before we close. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Dear Lord, your power and your love are amazing. Thank you for being the best friend we'll ever have, and thank you for showing us how to be good friends. Please be with each person here at Rocky Railway as we go out in the world to live for you. Thank you for loving us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
Holy Spirit. I am so thankful for all of you. Stay close to Jesus. Stay plugged in to his power through the sacraments, especially receiving the Eucharist at Mass if you're old enough and going to the Sacrament of Reconciliation regularly. Love others as Jesus loves you. God bless you. Bye.